morning, guys. Good morning. Um, all right, we're starting on a positive note. I know that much because we don't need to recap what happened yesterday. I don't need to be the hundredth person to tell everybody what they already know, right? There's a lot of obvious things that happened yesterday. Not a lot of nuance in the game. Um, not a lot of things to debate. Not a lot of things to really analyze. Just is what it is. Um, if you can't get a hit, can't get the runs across, you're not going to win. Um, what I do want to talk about is the matchup today and just enjoy being a fan because there's just no point um, to talk about yesterday's game. That's how I look at it. If you want to talk about it yesterday, that's one thing. But this morning, it's just over with. How did we win the game? What's going to happen today? What's the lineup going to be? All those things because at least we're playing baseball today. I'm trying to look at it from that perspective. I, I think I'm more frustrated about the stupid Padres. I, they put them behind me. I come back to the Padres. They're like the X that you're, you knew you were just done with, but for whatever stupid reason, um, here you are finding yourself up at 11 o'clock at night, figuring out why you're going 0-4 on the stupid freaking Padre. So that wasn't fun. Uh, J. Mar tried to tell me Michael King was just going to dominate. Knew I should have just realized I recorded with him in the morning for a reason. Oh, boy. So that was not fun. Um, Tatis hits a bomb on the – I mean, it starts off, you just can't make these things up, like, Looks like things are going to go the right way. Tatis hits a bomb. And then Merrill gets a hit on his first at bat. And then that's just the end of that. And Machado and Bogarts, nothing. So not fun day at all. Um, start off not being very fun. Finished off being less fun. And, uh, yeah, it's over with. So this morning I, I was thinking about, all right, well, let's just look at Eflin by himself and look at Lugo by himself and start from there because – yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, all right, Eflin. Um, I got two thoughts on my mind here against the Royals. One, he pitches the contact more than anybody else. Uh, last start was a huge outlier. We had all those walks. Very rarely does he walk anybody. He's going to pitch the contact today. The Royals are going to hit the ball. Excuse me. Today is going to come down to defense, and we got to be stellar on defense. We're not going to have – you know, be foolish. It'd be ridiculous to think that Eflin <clears throat> will match what Burns did yesterday. And that's just not going to happen. So you got to be prepared for that. You got to think, all right, we, we just got to, you know, more balls are going to be hit in play. It's going to be harder contact. That's just the way that Eflin pitches. So we got to be ready for that. It's got to be the best defensive performance. Defense was good yesterday. There's no complaints. Malcastle made a great play. Arias made a great play. Um, so the defense has to be great today. Let's start with that. They, can, they can't beat themselves. I'd be very surprised if Eflin gives up walks. I'd be surprised um, if they're really able to steal on him. I, I, thought, I thought Burns, I mean, he did a great job yesterday on everything. They got one steal on him, one freaking steal. But uh, I, I think Eflin's going to control the bases. I'm more worried about when they hit the ball. I think they're going to hit the ball fairly hard. Uh, it's a little bit luck, right? Like hopefully the ball comes right at our guys and they don't hit the gaps because the Royals are going to make contact today. That's the way the game's going to play out um, in my head that balls are going to be in play all day long. There might be a couple guys on base first and second, some tight spots and Eflin's going <clears> to, <throat> sorry, losing my voice here as we have uh, started my elementary basketball school tryout. So I'm already yelling at nine year olds. So uh, excuse me for my voice. Um, falling apart here, but yeah, I think the Royals are going to hit the ball today and we got, we're going to have to score four or five runs. And from a gambling perspective, I think the over is the right play um, because I think the Royals are going to be good for three or four runs, but let's flip it to the other side. Cause I, I am optimistic about the Orioles getting the bats going today. Today feels like a bullpen game. It feels like a high scoring bullpen game yesterday. I thought we'd be tense. Unfortunately we were, I don't get the vibe that we're going to be tight today. I think that um, Lugo, we had really good success against him earlier in the year. Uh, I'm going to go through that box score in a second. But I just feel like the at-bats weren't absolutely terrible yesterday. Reagan's is sometimes you just have to realize that if you want to group everything together from the past couple of months because it fits a narrative, you can do it. But if you just watch the game in a vacuum yesterday, I mean, he was unbelievable. Like, he just was. And it's I don't know if that's a reflection that our bats are just dead. I thought what happened the last week was a really good sign. And Westberg roped that ball. We had first and second. Um, Santander, I really thought he was going to get him in. He just couldn't do it. And then we had the leadoff walk um, with O'Hearn yesterday. 
like they're taking pretty good at bats um, relative to what happened a few months ago. And I just think that a lot of people watched the game, saw the results and didn't, and just easier to group it all together. I actually think the bats are going to do pretty well tonight. When they face Lugo earlier in the year, they had pretty much the same lineup they're going to put out today. I assume that when I say that, I assume what the lineup's going to be, which is curse that on the bench, uh, McCann on the bench, Holiday on the bench, Rivera on the bench, and Slater on the bench. And those were the nine guys that faced Lugo so the, the 21st game of the year. So all the way back in April when we played uh, the Royals, uh, Kalzer and Westberg went back to back home runs. And we didn't get we didn't get to them until the sixth inning besides that. So they had two home runs in the third inning, I believe. And then the sixth inning is when we knocked them out of the game, got a bunch of hits. They brought in a reliever and we won the game five nothing behind Cole Irvin. I have a good feeling that it'll be such a relief uh, not to see Reagans that we're, we're going to get some runs early. Whether or not Eflin holds up and the bullpen holds up is more of my, um, I guess, concern today. I just have a really good feeling that the bats are going to be there. So when, when I look at, you know, specifically how you attack a guy like Lugo versus what happens with Reagans is you know, we just haven't been hitting lefties well been that way and then there was just a little bit of unluckiness yesterday you know when you talk about Westberg's home run that could have been and Mullins' home run that could have been and just mm, just kind of pressed there and couldn't get it done so I'm actually more optimistic this morning than I was after the game yesterday because after the game you know everybody's deflated and if you listen to any content nobody wanted to find a silver lining in the at-bats it's just same old same old same old me included because it's frustrating you've been watching this for months and months you're hyped up for the game. But I think if you look deeper into today, I would not be surprised if the Orioles are able to get some runs and we'll see if the bullpen can hold up. Uh, the only criticism I have from, you know, from a fan's perspective, when I hear people talk about, you know, especially people that do content is you're not the general manager. You know, we're still in the playoffs. So to spend all the time talking about the off season and whether or not Burns is coming back and is Hyde coming back, yeah, if you want to do that in the regular season because you don't feel like analyzing the game or you just have some thoughts, predictions, that's fine. But in the middle, like, this is why you're supposed to be a fan. You have all these days of being a fan to lead up to the game. So if it doesn't go the right way, bitching about it afterwards is – it to me, it's just silly. Um, it's not how I, I, I live my life. I just feel like that's what you do when you're younger. Once you grow up, you know, they lose the game, they lose the game. It's over with. Uh, today, to spend any time being negative about it just just doesn't make any sense. I'm more negative, you know, about my money, which is, and maybe that's why I, I feel this way. Maybe I'm desensitized as a fan as I've gotten older, but yeah, I'm more frustrated about the stupid Padres. They cost me um, money yesterday, whereas the Orioles, yeah, I love the Orioles. If they don't win the World Series this year, I, I I have the different view. I don't know if it's a different view, but my view is their best players are still. And none of them are married. None of them have kids. They're all, well, I could, actually, some of them are married. Kind of funny, but they're not grown up yet. Like, they're just they're just kids. So if they don't win this year, maybe they win next year. We, we create a team where they can win for the next five or six years. So it doesn't really kill me if they don't win. I want them to win. Um, I root for them. But after the game's over, I still like what they've done with the organization. It, it, they're an easy team to root for. The guys are trying their hardest. So if they don't produce... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just getting old because it feels like yelling at people that are 10 years younger than me when they're trying their hardest um, just is what it is. I'd rather yell at the manager if he did something wrong. I don't know if he did anything wrong yesterday. Um, it, it's weird. To, it, you, you look back on it. You take the momentum away from Burns by not by walking Bobby Witt. So I said I wasn't going to recap the game, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But, yeah, I don't blame any. I don't. It just feels like Reagan's beat us yesterday. Um Maybe that's the coach in me. Sometimes you just watch and you're like, damn, the other guy's better. I don't, I, it just is what it is. Um, he made zero mistakes when he got into trouble. He struck us out and got a little bit lucky instead of those home runs. And that was the end of it. But I, I feel good about the Orioles today, uh, scoring some runs. So I'm going to put some player props, speak that into existence, try to get back on the right track here for baseball because I was finally getting some momentum with football. And then the Seahawks couldn't play defense. And all of a sudden, uh, the Brewers blew the game yesterday. Man, the Mets are hot. Um, I thought when the Brewers got the lead 2-0 and they got the lead 4-3, to three, and yet the Mets, man, I, you just can't bet against the Mets right now. Like You just have to recognize that doesn't make any sense. What's going on over there? I don't know. But something's going on. And that, the, um, that was a frustrating game for me. Uh, the Tigers, 
I don't know how they're putting this together. They just decided on their game two starter, that lefty that shut down the Orioles inexplicably for five innings. He's going to start today. Horton or Holton, whatever his name is, against the Astros. Um, you would think the Astros would win today, but who knows? Uh, the Tigers, they got that momentum from, I mean, man, bases loaded, two outs if you didn't see it yesterday. Tigers up three to one, and Hayward uh, for the Astros rips the ball just right at the first baseman or would have tied the game at least three to three and had a guy on third base um, for the Astros have a chance to win the game. And it doesn't happen. Maybe the Tigers are the team of death. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, and I was saying I'm giving up trying to figure out baseball here, but I cannot believe the Padres couldn't get one of the, Oh my God. That was so annoying yesterday. Um, well, I shouldn't say I lost all of them. They got, they got the over, they got to the four total runs, but I know it went up to four and a half right before the game. And so I don't know. I, I got it, but to be honest, I had those in the parlays with um, all the props, so nothing worked for me. So, uh, all right, let's see. Um, what else do we got? Um, Braves, Padres tonight. I'm staying away from it because, for whatever reason, I started off great with the Padres. Now I've just lost it, and I'm not going back to the well with them. The Mets, Brewers, I kind of thought the Brewers were going to win yesterday, and then the Mets could win the next two. So I feel like I, I got that one wrong. I'm staying away from it. I'm going to look at the player props for the Astros today because it wouldn't shock me if the Tigers hit the ball. Kind of similar feel uh, to the Royals-Orioles game where when you win that first game, when you're the underdog, you're going to swing the bat really loosely. And that's a great thing in baseball. When you have no pressure and you're amazing at uh, something, that's like the best case scenario. That's why we have all these sports psychologists to try to get people in a good mindset, try to get them relaxed. I mean, you couldn't be in a better mood if you're the Mets, the Royals, the Tigers. You win that road game and you scored, um, well, I, you know, especially in the Mets case, you score a bunch of runs. They're in a good mood. The Royals and the Tigers, they couldn't score and they still won. So now the bats are even like, man, we owe the pitching staff. So it's hard to want to bet against that. If anything, I would lean towards the totals in the American League uh, going over. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what the Ashers, could they be done? I don't want to bet against the Ashers. It kind of seems silly to do that. But, yeah, I would lean towards the total there. Got to see what the lineup looks like for the Tigers. I haven't dived into the matchups there. But, yeah, looking at how the Orioles match up against Lugo, I think we're going to score. I think this game feels like a 7-5 to five game, an 8-6 to six game. We're going to see our bullpen have to get some outs. It just feels like we've, we've had all these things happen with the bullpen that today's game is going to come down to that. Um, and then we get Kramer versus Waka tomorrow. That should be a lot of fun. They're very similar pitchers. Um Ah, I really want to see a game tomorrow. So hopefully Eflin can come out and we can score first and he pitches the contact and then the Royals press a little. Like the way you you change the vibe is the crowd's loud and we're up to nothing. Then the Royals might try to press. That's when Eflin can get the weak contact. But early in the game, yeah, he's got to be careful. Um, don't give up the solo home run. And hopefully the, the defense is ready to go. But I think the lineup, I don't think they'll be really – any changes? I think, um, you know, outside of McCann going to the bench and O'Hearn getting the DH spot, I think that's – there's no magic tricks. That's just what they're going to do. Probably be same order. I'd imagine Gunner, Westberg, Santander, uh, Mountcastle, O'Hearn. You know, you can kind of fill it in how, how they want. And then Kowser. Um, it depends. He might get – I hope he doesn't get too cute and overthink it. Just put those guys out there and see if we can get the win. But, yeah, I wanted to record this morning and just get it out on my system and, um, yeah, try to enjoy the game today. And um, I think that's about it. All right. I think that's about it. Tomorrow tomorrow should be another great day. We'll at least have a couple of these game threes. I know most of these uh, three-game series end in sweeps. Hopefully we have a couple extra baseball games tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, right back to the NFL and hopefully make some money this week. If you need anything, if um, today is – yeah, I have a couple things uh, booked up up until about noon. But if you need anything, as always, you can just shoot me a message. I'm pretty good about responding right away. So, um, yeah, if you're going to the game, enjoy it. Just be positive. If someone's trying to be negative about it, just remind them, man, we've been uh, fans for this team for a long time. Yeah, they've lost nine in a row. Yeah, they haven't won since 2014. But big picture, this team is built really, really well. The, the best players are great people. They're easy to root for. It's not like we have a Tampa Bay Rays situation where – you know, their best player is doing God knows what. You know, our best players are really easy to root for. So I think 
if we can just will ourselves to a win today. I'm so looking forward to Saturday night against the Yankees that maybe I'm guilty of overlooking this, just like so focused on having that game. So, all right, I'm done blabbing about the Orioles. Hope we have a good day. I'll be here in the morning regardless. And, uh, yeah, good luck, whatever you're doing. I'll have my bets out uh, later today. See ya.